Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj welcoming you for an important session in coordination compounds. In the previous video, we saw how VBT explains the geometry and structure of nickel tetracarbonyl and today we shall see how VBT explains the same in square planar complexes. So, I have taken an example that is tetracyanido nickelate 2 ion. Okay? Actually, this VBT is introduced by Hitler and London and this is primarily based on the concepts of atomic orbitals, electronic configuration of elements, the overlapping of atomic orbitals and hybridization of atomic orbitals. Okay. So, I have chosen nickel, uh, right, tetracyanido nickelate ion and let us see how this VBT explains. Okay. See, the first one central metal atom. What is the central metal atom here? It is nickel, right. So, Ni it is the central metal atom and what, what about the ligands see there are four ligands cyanide okay cyanide four cyanide ligands are there so cn how many cyanide cyanide ligands are there four okay so four cyanide ligands are there right and in this complex okay in this complex the oxidation state of this ni is plus 2 okay so the oxidation state of this ni is plus 2 okay so uh, therefore the complex consists of the central ni2 plus ion it has the central ni2 plus ion and it is surrounded by four cyanide ligands okay so now let us see the outer electronic configuration of this Ni2 plus okay. So what is the atomic number of Ni first? What is the atomic number of Ni? It is 28. So if you are writing the electronic configuration first you should know the nearest noble gas of this nickel okay. So the nearest noble gas is argon okay because argon's atomic number is 18 and what could be the rest let us distinct okay so that is 3d8 and 4s2 okay this is for nickel right but we are in need of the elect outermost electronic configuration of this ni2 plus okay if ni2 plus means the 4s2 electrons will be going so if in that case the outer electronic configuration would be 3d8 and 4s0 understood students now we are going to write the outer orbitals of this metal ion that is Ni2 plus Ni2 plus outer orbital uh, we are going to fill it okay so what is the outer electronic configuration of this Ni2 plus it is 3d8 and 4s is 0 so first we should accommodate the electrons and this accommodation of the electrons takes place based on the Huns rule of maximum multiplicity how what is Huns rule of maximum multiplicity, uh, multiplicity states so it states that the electrons will be arranged singly first in all the orbitals and after occupying all the orbitals then it starts to pair up okay that is Huns rule of maximum multiplicity so based on that Huns rule we are going to accommodate the eight electrons in this 3d orbital okay so for first let us fill it one two three four and five then again six seven eight okay so two uh, three uh, 3d orbitals are paired up and whereas the two uh, 3d orbitals are unpaired okay and this 4s is zero we since we don't have any electrons here 4s is zero 4p is also left free okay okay now what is the nature of the ligand okay see here then what is the ligand present it is cyanide okay and it is a strong field ligand it is a strong field okay it is a strong field ligand since it is a strong field ligand it passes up the electrons of Na2 plus against Huns rule okay see actually based on Huns rule what is happening the electrons will be singly filled and after that the rest of the electrons will be getting paired up okay but since here we are having a strong field ligand the strong field ligand has a capacity or it it forces the unpaired electrons to get paired up okay so the pairing up of electrons takes place and this results in the vacating of 3d orbital of na2 plus okay so due to the presence of this strong field ligand cyanide the electrons which are present unpaired will be getting paired up and will be having one vacant orbital in 3d understood so as i told you earlier due to the presence of the strong field ligand cyanide the electron starts to pair up so this is how the electrons will be in the beginning and due to the presence of the strong field ligand the uh, unpaired electrons will be paired up okay so this will be paired, paired getting paired and will be will be having 
and we'll be having a, a vacant orbital here one 3d orbital will be left vacant understood so what happens now according to see here one 3d orbital is vacant one 4s is vacant and 3 4p is vacant okay now what happens according to vbt the central metal atom that is ni should be ready with the vacant orbitals to accommodate the electrons donated by the ligands okay so it should provide this nickel or na2 plus ion should provide vacant orbitals to accommodate the electrons released by this ligand cyanide okay since we are having four cyanide ligands all four cyanide ligands will be donating uh, a pair of a lone pair of electron okay so that uh, it, it should be accommodated for that purpose this Na2 plus should have some vacant orbitals or four vacant orbitals to accommodate the electrons and also those vacant orbitals should be hybridized in such a way that those orbitals should have equal energy as that of the ligands orbital okay understood so these uh, orbitals should be hybridized in such a way that these orbitals should be in same energy as that of the ligands orbitals okay based on this principle the nickel can now provide one 3d to one s okay and two 4p orbitals so one 3d one four s and two four p orbitals okay this is what happening so this will be the all these things will be undergoing hybridization and finally we will be getting uh, this type of let's see all this one two three four four orbitals will be undergoing a sort of hybridization and finally we will be getting d this is d s p2 two orbitals is not d s p2 hybrid orbitals vacant d s p2 five hybrid orbitals all these four orbitals will be having same energy as that of the ligands orbital understood so this is this is how the accommodation will be and how and here what happens already there will be uh, paired up electrons okay so this will be having paired up electrons and now all these uh, orbitals are left vacant and again from 4p we will be having one vacant orbital that will not be undergoing hybridization only these four okay one 3d one 4s and two 4p so so that we are having dsp2 hybrid hybrid orbitals so what is the hybridization what is the hybridization dsp P2 understood students DSP2 so what could be the geometry of this say let me uh, but before getting the geometry I will explain how the electrons are getting accommodated okay in a complex DSP2 hybrid orbitals in a complex how the electrons get accommodated see here already in the D orbitals all the electrons will be paired up is it not so this will be getting paired up now what happens to this vacant uh, dsp2 or hybrid orbitals see the uh, ligands all, all four cyanide ligands all four cyanide ligands will be donating uh, a pair of lone uh, uh, lone pair of electrons okay so here the first cyanide is giving and the next cyanide ligand and the next cyanide ligand and the next cyanide ligand okay so this is how the electrons of so four pairs of electrons from four cyanide ligands will be getting okay and the, those electrons will be getting accommodated in the vacant dsp2 hybrid orbitals understood students and because of this uh, actually uh, how this happens the vacant orbitals these vacant orbitals will be overlapping with the orbitals of the cyanide ligands and while overlapping the electrons will be shared up okay so thus this tetra cyanide or two ion complex is formed okay and what will be the uh, shape of this geometry of this tetra cyanide or two ion it is square planar okay it is square planar okay it is square planar and this is how the structure will be let me draw here ni and here we'll be having cyanide and here also we'll be having cyanide and here we'll be having one cyanide and here also we'll be having one cyanide okay so this is how the um, it will be the structure will be okay and just close it we'll be having two minus and here also okay this is how the structure will be font we can make it strong okay so this is the square planar geometry okay and uh, what is the magnetic property so after forming the complex we should check 
the orbital whether it is having unpaired electrons see if unpaired electrons are there then the complex will be paramagnetic if paired electrons are there then it will be acting as a diamagnetic since here in all the orbitals all the electrons are paired up so it comes under diamagnetic okay so the magnetic property will be its diamagnetic diamagnetic okay now we shall find out the magnetic moment so for finding out the magnetic moment there is a formula mu s is equal to root of n into n plus 2 so what is n n is nothing but it is the number of unpaired electrons since here we don't have any unpaired electrons so n is equal to 0 so the magnetic moment will be equal to 0 ms will be equal to 0 understood students fine you might have understood clearly how vbt is used to explain the hybridization geometry and magnetic property of nicn42 minus we'll meet you with another set of examples in my next video until then it's dr anita Raj signing off from you thanks for watching